Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is episode number 108, and today we have some pay dirt from the great country of, if I could bring it up here, Australia. So this pay dirt actually comes from the famous gold mining town of El Dorado in Victoria, Australia. Uh, you guys might remember from a, about two years ago, I actually visited this city with my friends uh, Chris from Vogus Prospecting and Polly from Pioneer Polly. And they have like a giant dredge over there and it's all stuff from like the 1850s when they used to have the gold rush back then. And there's actually still gold there today. Now, there's a company that I'm gonna be reviewing today that actually sells gold pay dirt from this area. And they are called DT Gold. You can find them on Facebook, you can find them on Pinterest. But if you wanna buy their products, you have to go over to their Shopify. It's dtgoldaustralia.myshopify.com. Basically, they just tell you that um, they do collect all their pay dirt from El Dorado in Reedy Creek, which is the famous gold bearing creek that runs through El Dorado. And they do have a couple different products here, as you can see. Um, they're actually all, everything is sold out except for the gold pans right now. Um, don't let that discourage you though. Definitely go check them out and see if they have anything in stock. So I had someone from Australia send me this bag. Um, the owner of the company doesn't know that they were shipping it to me. And I actually purchased the two kilogram DT Gold Dream Bag, which is this one right here. $129 plus 50 US dollars shipping. It cost me a total of 149 US dollars to buy the pay dirt and have it shipped over here from Australia. So thanks a lot to my decoy that purchased this for me and shipped it over, I really appreciate that. So here we have it, the DT Gold two kilogram bag. Let's take it down to the panning station. We'll chop it open and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, here it is, the DT Gold Australia Dream Bag, two kilograms. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Nice. All right, so the bag itself is heat sealed all the way around. There's no zip lock or anything to tear. So we actually have to use a razor blade. Looking down into the material, it looks like, honestly, it looks kind of like coarse play sand. Doesn't look like there's a lot of big material in there. I like their logo too, it's really simple and clean. Awesome. All right, so we got two kilograms of dirt here. I didn't weigh it, but I'll take their word for it. Honestly, the weight doesn't really matter. It's the amount of gold that really matters. Now, on the website, I forgot to mention, they do say that they add 1.1 grams of gold, but there's no guarantee because when you pan out pay dirt, um, there's a chance that you're gonna miss some. So they're covering themselves by saying there's no guarantee but they do also say there's 1.1 grams. Now I know I'm not gonna miss anything when I pan through it, so I'm pretty confident we'll get all 1.1 grams. All right, because we have such fine material here, we're gonna classify it probably two or three times. So first size is gonna be the kitchen strainer size. You can get these at any dollar store or Poundland or whatever dollar store you have in your country. There's really no need to buy the expensive ones. Just pay $1 and you're good. So in case you're wondering why am I running dirt through a sifter, well, we call these classifiers. And the reason we do it is to separate the larger gold from the smaller gold. Um, because when it comes to the panning process, when we're actually running water over this stuff and recovering the gold, uh, if you have different size material, you have a better chance of losing gold. So that's why we always like to separate our material before panning. Okay, here we have our plus and minus kitchen strainer size material. There's still a lot of material over here, so what I wanna do is classify again. We're gonna classify it to uh, 20 mesh. All right, so as you can see, our plus and minus kitchen strainer and our minus 20 mesh material. There's all about equal amounts here. Maybe more of the minus 20. So now that we have everything classified, we're gonna take a magnet to this stuff and see if we can remove any magnetic material. Um, that way, when it comes to the panning process, we don't have to worry about panning through all the heavy material. All that stuff will be taken out with the magnet. All 
Not a lot. Very little magnetic material. Let's try the other sizes. This is our plus kitchen strainer size, our biggest material. Yeah, almost zero. That's good. The less magnetic material, the easier it's going to be during the panning process. Minimal amounts of magnetic material. There's a lot of ironstone in Australia. Um, there's some ironstone on here. These little dark brown chunks here, these are all ironstone. And the black stuff is likely magnetite. Sorry for the blurriness. In the description, he does say there's everything from nuggets all the way down to flower gold. And flower gold, even if you have black sands or not, it still could be very difficult to pan. We just gotta see what we're working with. So let's bring over Krusty Rusty. We'll add some water and some surfactant. That surfactant will break the surface tension of the water so that real small flower gold can't float away on the surface tension. I'm going to start by panning out the magnetic material just to see if there's any gold that came up with it. It does happen once in a while. All right, no gold. All right, so now I have to determine which one I want to pan first. I think we'll do the small stuff first. That way, um, if there are any big nuggets, uh, we'll save those for last. All right, so I'm gonna take just three or four spoonfuls of this material to pan, just to test it out. I don't wanna do it all at once in case it is very difficult for whatever reason. Uh, then I'm not trying to blast through a ton of it, just a small amount, just to kind of gauge the difficulty. If you guys are interested in learning how to pan for gold, I have an entire gold panning tutorial video. I'll link it right there and in the description. You can open that in a new tab and watch it after this one if you, if you want. All right, so although we removed all of the magnetic material, we have a lot of black sand in here. And that's probably hematite or crushed up ironstone that's not magnetic. I'm not really sure since it's Australian. I'm not too familiar with everything over there as far as geology goes. But there is a lot of black sand, which means um, this might be more difficult than I expected. Yeah, look at all that. That was only four that was only four spoonfuls, and yeah, we have some gold coming down. This is gonna be more difficult than I thought. Look at that. See that little bit of gold right there? We have to grab that as we see it. All right, so the trick for recovering gold from very difficult material like this, or, you know, not very difficult, I would say it's probably an eight out of a 10 um, on the difficulty scale. As you see the gold coming down, just grab it with your snuffer bottle, because otherwise you'll be chasing it all day. Um, also, when you tap the top like this, the gold is still heavier than that black sand, and when you tap it, it'll actually walk the gold up to that corner. Most of it. It doesn't work all the time, but it does help a little bit. But as you can see here, this gold is right on top of the black sand. So I'm actually gonna give this like an eight and a half out of 10 difficulty. Look at that, there's some nice gold in there so far. I can see why they don't guarantee an amount because this is pretty tough. I'm enjoying it. Even the big flakes are mixed in. That's some heavy material, whatever that is. If anybody knows what that is, I'm guessing crushed ironstone. Somebody from Australia is gonna help me in the comments there. I would suggest one spoonful at a time, especially for the minus 20 mesh. The other sizes are gonna be a lot easier, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this minus 20 mesh. Maybe I'll do some time lapse for you and uh, you can see how the process works. I would suggest going through this twice, especially the, the finer mesh.
Yep, I missed one piece there, two pieces. Four spoonfuls was way too much. Uh, this is, you know, two maximum, I would say. Man, that's a challenge. Okay, so I'm about halfway done panning this stuff out. And if I can get it to focus, right at the tip of these tweezers here, you can see a very small red garnet. I know it's not going to be, my camera's not going to cooperate. But yeah, there's some little garnets. There's another one right there. Little tiny garnets here. Uh, always interesting to see. And um, But yeah, this, this pay dirt is extremely difficult. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, uh, I, I was going to set up my sluice box and just run it through that to make this so much easier for myself. But I mean, this is really, really interesting pay dirt. Not for beginners, that's for sure. But hours of fun. Absolutely. Here's a little tip if you do buy some of this stuff, pan through it three times because I panned through it twice and I thought I had everything. And then as I was cleaning it out of the pan like this, I noticed there was some little bits of gold coming down. So three times. This is the last pan for this minus 20 mesh. And I'll tell you what, man, this stuff is absolutely, it's like it's on par with the kleshgold.com expert bags. It's about the same difficulty, um, the minus 20 only. I can tell you right now that the bigger material is not gonna be this difficult, but if you classify it a minus 20, you're gonna have yourself some extremely difficult pay dirt. Um, now, if you didn't classify it all, it would be easily a difficulty nine for this stuff, even more difficult than my expert. Because, first of all, most of this black sand isn't even magnetic. So you can't, the only way to remove it is by doing this. The best way to describe this is an excellent stress reliever in the most annoying way possible. See that? You see that right there? I was just rinsing this down after panning it three times. And I still, some's trying to get away. Look at that. I got gotcha. you. So this is what we have. You can see all that black sand mixed in with the gold. It's basically just a super difficult pan. We have to separate all the gold from the black sand. And again, the only way to do that with non-magnetic material is grab one piece at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll clean up the water and uh, I'll show you what I get. So as you can see, we got probably a half, a half gram there. Looks like about a half gram of fines. And man, that took forever. And as you can see, there's still black sand in there. Um, I'll clean that up once it's dry. Basically just dry it out, put it on a piece of paper and lightly blow across and um, into a pan. And then you'll see all the, the black sand. You remove that way, the, the last remaining black sand. So um, yeah, I just wanted to clean that up because that was gonna be really difficult and take a lot of time. And I had a little extra energy and I wanted to just knock that out. So now let's bring over our next smallest size or our next biggest size. And this should be so much easier. I could probably pan all of it out at once. All right, getting down to the very end of it, as you can see, there's no black sand, but we have some nice flakes of gold in there. And this, you know, that's a two out of 10 difficulty right there. Awesome. Probably a qu another quarter gram of gold right there. There's a little bit of black sand in there, but that was just material that was stuck to the bigger rocks. And finally, the plus kitchen strainer size. I need more water. Sorry about that, had a little yellow jacket problem, but I've got one of these salt guns here. If you guys want one, I'll put a link down below. But yeah, a lot of fun. Not a sponsor, just a lot of fun. All right, if we have any big pieces of gold, this is where we're gonna see it right here at the end. Give me a nice chunker here, that would be cool. There's gotta be a couple, yeah, there's some right there. Nice. 
Some more flakes, bigger flakes. Yeah, not too bad. Right there. All right, there it is, guys. It looks like it is a gram of gold, at least. So, I mean, I'm not worried about the weight. I do trust the company. They say there's 1.1 grams in there. I'll take their word for it. However, we are gonna weigh it to make sure. And uh, first we gotta dry it out, weigh it up, and we'll get a value on it. All right, we got 1.113 grams, and we're gonna call it 24 karat purity because you can resell natural plaster gold just like this to pay dirt vendors like myself if you guys wanna sell your gold. Definitely check out kleshgold.com, click on the sell your gold button, and I will buy your gold. Today's gold spot value is $1,779.56. Value is $63.68. Now I paid about 150 US dollars for this. Um, it's about a, what is this, 50% ROI? Not even. Usually I say 50% ROI is good. But um, now, you know, there's not a lot of options in Australia for pay dirt. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting this if you're in the United States. If you're in Australia, you don't have to pay that $50 shipping. I don't know what the shipping does cost if you're in Australia, but the ROI would be a lot better if you're in Australia. So I can't remember who recommended this pay dirt to me to do a review, but thank you very much for that. If you guys are interested in buying any of the gear that I use in my videos, clutchgold.com, go to shop, down to gold uh, prospecting gear, and everything I use in my videos, you can buy it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. I put out at least one new video every week. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left. So thanks so much. And also big thanks to all my major credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also if you enjoyed this video, you're really gonna like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out and I'll see you guys on the next video.